Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how I customize my uh, palace skateboard. Uh, this one is for my son Joseph. I got this uh, for his uh, Christmas present. So after that, I got all the accessories and uh, the trucks, the uh, grip tape, and uh, the all, all the wheels and everything. So today I'm uh, getting ready to assemble for you guys to check it out. First of all, for those people or viewers out there uh, or subscribers out there that are being so technical out there, saying that uh, last time I did the Supreme skateboard, my truck was in uh, the right size and I'm not using the right tools as you, you can see right now, okay? Anyway, if you guys really want to get so technical, here is the chart for the skateboard trucks and the wheels. Let me see if you guys zoom in, uh, zoom in for you guys to check it out. So this one is an 8.25 inch uh, deck. And if you go with the independent trucks, uh, 139 uh, millimeter or 149 so I got the 139 millimeter and if you go with the different size like furry or silver trucks and they go by the inch I guess yeah 8 inch or the 5.5 .5 from uh, Thief uh, Thunder and uh, on the one on the right hand side also the wheel size I chose the 54 millimeter so the 8.25, you could go from 54 to 60 millimeter, okay? And uh, there's another chart that I'm going to show you guys. Or uh, It talks about the durometer, okay? Durometer is a measurement of uh, hardness and uh, durability for wheels. How wheels equal speed and durability with the less grip. Soft wheel have the best grip with the less speed and durability. Okay. So I believe I have the eighty and uh, the ninety-seven A. And the other one, uh, well, the eighty-seven A is uh, for rough surface, long board, or street board that needs a lot of grip. 95A is uh, similar to 87A, but slightly harder and faster. You will sac sacrifice a bit of grip, but grip still good. 97A is a good speed and good grip. Good all around street, ramp, park, wheel. Best uh, durometer for beginners. Or oh, 100A, hard, hardest and fastest but poor grip, not good on very, very rough uh, surface, no shock absorption on um, very slick surface, okay? And the uh, bottom is the size of the wheels, uh, 52 to uh, 55 millimeter is slow but stable and uh, good for tricks, uh, riding and smaller riders, not good for long boards. 56 to 60 millimeter is good all around size, Good for uh, big and small rider on ramp, park, and street. 60 plus millimeter is good for uh, big rider, long board, old school board, uh, high speed, and uh, rougher surface. Okay? So enough of uh, those uh, mumbo jumbo. Let's go ahead and then, uh, get it started. So as you can see last time I used a screwdriver and maybe my other ratchet and wrench or pliers and then I got this uh, needles uh, nose uh, with a hammer tip on the tip to make a hole on my uh, grip tape. So last time I say sandpaper a lot of people are uh, chewing me up. Anyway, I got this uh, to measure millimeter for you guys to see. This is just a kit's uh, Home Depot variable clipper calipers. 
I got this to protect my skateboard in case I'm going to put it on top of the wood to put on the grip tape. So I'm going to lay that on right now. So you need a sharp uh, razor blade, okay? This is my clear uh, grip tape. I know it looks kind of white right now because of the paper on the back. So this time I got this uh, professional premium skateboard tool for you guys to check them out. This is a Christian Hasoi uh, Legend Series uh, Collector's Edition. All right, if you guys didn't see my unbox, you can go uh, search under my uh, channel. I got this uh, Bones uh, Wheel Hundreds. V4 black 54 millimeter. Okay. That's why I got this uh, calipers to measure for you guys. So it's around 54 millimeter. Okay. Yeah, I got this uh, independent uh, trucks. I'm going to measure for you guys real quick. This is uh, 139. Millimeter. I got this uh, eight big nine bearings. Junior independent uh, parts uh, risers pads. I got the spacers. For the bearings, and this is my uh, truck's uh, hardware. And decal, but I'm probably not going to put those decals. So it says uh, Hollywood. Saving the last, this is the Palace uh, skateboard, the deck, 8.25, it says uh, over there. Long Live South Bank. And this is the Palace. So we're gonna first start off with the grip tape. Um, try not to touch with the, your oily, oily hands, okay? Else uh, your grip is not going to stick too well. So just uh, stop hitting off. Some people they like uh, to peel it up all the way and then just lay it on lay lay on top, but um, that will create like a bubble. So gonna give it a wipe down real quick.
So as you can see, there are some of the white. I mean, uh, the grip here is not sticking all the way down yet. It's supposed to be like a, like a, the color should be showing darker instead of a white. When you see the white, I mean, it has a bubble. So you gotta press uh, firmly down all the way. Anyway, I'm probably going to go upstairs and then uh, use my uh, hair dryer to melt the glue down more and I'll come back and show you guys, okay? Alright guys, so we're back. So after that, I heated it up. Uh, looks better, but as you can see, it's still uh, have a couple of the bubble. So just need to step on it more, I guess, when you ride on it. So let's go ahead and then, uh, get this uh, professional uh, tools out. After we put the grip tape, I'm going to use this uh, filer to file around the grip tape.
Now we're gonna use the Zacto knife to cut it. Now you want to hold the for this and then uh, get it like a sand the edges. Well, people like to poke the hole from the bottom up. I like to poke it from top to bottom. The reason I like to do from the top to bottom because I don't want to lift up the grip tape. And just uh, get your screws. Poke it out. And do that to uh, each hose. See, nice and clean. Let me show you guys on this view. Just to push it out. This is all the grip tape on the hole. So by turning that uh, Phillips screw uh, driver, you are making a nice perfect hole. But then you, you gotta make sure your screw uh, driver is bigger than the hole a little bit. 
So you can grind out those uh, extra uh, grip tape around the hole. Oh. I'm gonna put on the the riser. The reason I like to put this on is because of the wheel bite. Okay, for those of you out there, or oh, you don't need the uh, riser, so it's up to you. Okay. Make sure you match it correctly. So now we can put the screw, uh, the bolt on now. Just uh, hand tie it real quick. Now this is where your tools uh, come handy, okay? Uh, this is like a ratchet style, okay? This is to turn right, which is to clockwise to tighten it. And then L is to loosen up or uh, counterclockwise, turn to le left. If it doesn't want to do that, just uh, either way, okay? So I'm going to tighten it, it has to be right. You come with this uh, tool right here. It's kind of weird, you gotta push up from here. So you got your Allen wrench or your uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver right there, the tip. So I'm gonna use my uh, screwdriver since it's uh, longer. All right, looks uh, pretty good. So all we do now is to pop in the bearings, the spacer, and then that's it. It come with the two of the washer already on each uh, side of the wheel. I mean the bar. 
the chucks. Oh, come with the stickers. Bongs. So here's my uh, bearings, it's uh, white. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's an Epic 9. So since these are the replicant already, I'm not gonna duplicate it. So you're gonna pop this uh, bearing in there first, okay? And you need the washer in there, and you're gonna pop this in with the outside uh, wheel going first. Put the spacer in there. Put the, I mean, sorry, the bearing first, and then your spacer. And then just pop it in, that's it. And then take out one washer. Where's the other washer go? Oh, sorry, it's right there. <laughs> Got stuck in here. So take out the other washer and then put this in. And then tie the nut and you're set. This one. Make sure the washer doesn't stick on your uh, bearing, okay? That's what happened.
Don't open it too tight. Don't open it tight, Tim. All right, guys, let me give you guys the close look at right, the wheels. Pretty nice uh, block with the block palace uh, deck in gray. So the wheel pretty uh, stands out. All right, so hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like this video. Uh, please subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and then uh, turn on the bell for notification So whenever I upload new and latest video, you can check them out uh, instantly. All right Please uh, share this with a friend family or on social media and drop any on the comments or below uh, Please no bully comments and then uh, I will not let it tolerate and I will block and report the user that use uh, foul languages anyway Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace out, guys.